In this episode, you will see a parent being coached on three stencils in a lesson for a younger typer. That parent is my mother, and you will get a laugh at her mistakes. The communication partner will be coached on how to use three stencils for the student to type a word. The lesson includes a coaching summary with board placement, coaching levels, and how not to rush. The parent then will be coached asking a question including how to be successful by coaching first, and then putting the board down in front of the typer. Parent being coached on three stencils. Some of the things that happen often, I understand, is probably coaching, coaching too much or coaching too little. Right. Right. And Absolutely. So, <laughs> so you can tell me what you think I'm doing. All right. So should I read the next paragraph? Yeah. Okay. Or you can. Yeah. Or you know. Yeah. I didn't do all the green questions, but. Okay. It's so up to you. You can do the next paragraph. So let's just make this clear. When you read a paragraph and you have three words possible to spell mm -hmm. and two questions that are all in green mm -hmm. should they do all of them or should they do only some no in the beginning they should do all in the beginning they should do because all because they're going to be skipping the rest of the questions yes okay. so when i have an advanced speller i probably don't do any spell words or even rarely do a green unless yes. i'm specifically working on something okay but i don't right. have to get into that today okay parent coached for a spell word uh, let's then continue with the green ones then, since you said we should do all of them, oh, okay? Yeah. And um, so why don't we, let's see here, why don't we then, I haven't done this in a long time, Elizabeth. So remember, you're going to write the question. Uh, write the, I have to write the question. Okay, so let's spell excellent. All right, there we go. All right, Elizabeth, bottom left. Now, remember, e. you, you forgot your hand. Oh. And now the board is going to come up. Also, the board is too high. Too high? Remember, you're going to bring it down so that this middle section okay. to the camera yes. is bifurcated by the table. It's lower than people realize. Okay. Okay. All right. I will tell you that Elizabeth and I don't spell that low normally, so it's a little odd for me. But I get that that's what you want. So there you go. All right. Ready? E. All right. All right. Let's start again. All right, we're going to do this again. I thought that was good because I was correcting. <laughs> okay. All right. It's hard, Elizabeth, for me to do this right. Ready? Don't forget. Oh. Oh. Poor mom is not used to using three stencils and hand gestures. Oh, uh, don't forget that... You, you want to show them the hand prompt. Oh, the hand prompt. Okay. So, Elizabeth, we're going to go down to the bottom shelf. Mm. Oh, I said... <laughs> You're not supposed to say the letter. <laughs> All right. All right, ready? And bottom shelf. X. All right. I probably had that a little too high. All right. And now okay. we're going to go. All right. Again, bottom. It's the top shelf. Oh. Pull it up. You do oh, what all oh, the parents okay. do. Okay, what I do? He's, the word excellent has E-X-C. <laughs> yeah, that's why they make sure you look at how to spell the word. <laughs> Again, see, let me point out what's happening right now. Ginny, who hasn't done this in a long time, she's rushing. I'm rushing. You're not sitting and thinking, where am I in the word? Yes. Let me look it down and see where I am. What am I going to say when I bring the board down? You're trying to get that board in front of her as soon as possible. Yeah, I think this is so good for me to be so bad at this, to show you that I've been doing this for 20 years with Elizabeth. It's and, hard. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? It just takes to be able to say, we're gonna do it slowly, get coached by an expert and get it right. All right, so sorry, Elizabeth, you must be frustrated with your old mom. Okay. I love you, mom, for keeping your mistakes in these videos. Okay, so we're gonna go with the, we have the E, oh, okay. we have the E and the X. Now we're gonna go with the next letter. All right. What it are you is, gonna say, Jenny? We're gonna say it's top shelf in the center, top shelf in the center, C. C, Elizabeth, very good. And then we're going to say bottom shelf and below, E. Try it. See how mom is checking the lesson for the answer. You should do that too. Try it in the beginning to use a lot of right and left. Okay, all right. And now we're going to go in the center, top shelf, 
L, reset, end, yeah. L, and now we're going to go bottom shelf in the, in left, the left corner, corner. Yeah. left corner, E, bottom shelf to the left, N, yeah. and. See how the CP only says the letter after the typer has clearly selected it. And top shelf to the left, T. E. Excellent. Coaching summary. Excellent. All right, so what did I do right and wrong, Judy, please? Actually, that was much better. You went slower. <laughs> I went slower. Okay. Very you gave good. more specific directions. Okay. Okay. You effectively used your hand. Okay. okay. You good. did not move the board once the board was down and you held it in an appropriate place. Okay. Okay. So that was really good. All right. Thank you. Boy, I'm so glad I got that now. All right. This again, guys, it may take you a couple of weeks or months, depending on Absolutely. what your child is facing, but don't give up. Elizabeth always says, don't give up. Yes. Communication partners, please don't give up on coaching us to get to the letters. We need you to communicate. Parent coached asking a question. All right, so now, Elizabeth, let's do the next question. Now, is it okay? Oh, no, she shouldn't be able to look at this because it has the answer there. I cover it with the transcript. Uh, okay. I enjoy looking at what is being read and your typer may also be more engaged if they can see what you are reading. Please give it a try and see what works better. She likes to look at things, but I'm going to just read this to you, Elizabeth. This is a green question. Besides crushing the spider, where can you place it? You can put it upside down. Too. Where can you place it? Okay. So, so. I can just t write on here, where can you place yeah. it? I don't have to write the whole sentence. Mm -hmm. All right. Where can you place right. it? Okay. Where can you place it, Elizabeth? All right. We're going to go stand, sit up straight. Sit up straight. We're going to go bottom shelf to the left. Bottom down, 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 down. Oh. Move that board. Yep. All right. Now we're going to go top shelf in the center. Top shelf center. Go, 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 go. You. Top, top, top. Top, top, top. T. You're not using your hand. Oh, yes. My hand. Okay. Now we're going to go upstairs to the left corner. S. And then we're going to go toward me, bottom shelf, bottom shelf toward me, I, top shelf toward me, D. It's better to say right or left. Okay, no, right or left. Right. Okay, right or left. Good. All right, now, and now, last letter, bottom shelf, bottom shelf to the left. You can get it. You got it outside. Now that last one you brought the board down before you had given the prompt. Coach first then board down. Okay so. You rushed a little bit there. Okay. That was okay. So so you're saying that I I should be putting the board down and then giving the no. prompt? No. You I give should the give prompt. the prompt and then put the board down. I do. That's how I do it. Again, you may see different styles slightly, yes. with different practitioners. It's yes. not going to look vastly yes. different by any stretch. Yes. But there's little tweaky things that maybe some people do. Yes. Please hear this coaching from Judy. You should give us your verbal coaching before you put the board in front of us. The reason I do that is because I'm trying to always be proactive, Ginny, rather than reactive. Yes. So what I mean by that is, Supposing we're going for the E on this board, and I say bottom shelf on the left, and the student's hand is coming over mm. towards the right side of the board. Mm. If I've already given the direction prompt and the yes. hand prompt, I can correct already. So, mm -hmm. bottom shelf on the left, move your eyes, look, 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 get them over to the left, keep going left, 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 left. 
I have time before they've incorrectly posed. I think I think that's so smart, Judy. I, I really like that. And again, sitting in the chair, <laughs> it's really good to hear these very specific things. So that, so I guess what I'm hearing, and I haven't done this before. Elizabeth didn't use three stencils back 20 years ago with me. So, so being able to have it like right here, yeah. and to be able to say, okay, Elizabeth, you're going to go upper right upper right corner upper right corner right and then put it down right correct that's what i do okay okay again it just i have found that to be very effective mm -hmm. for me as well as it's a great way to teach parents to slow down and it gives you like think. okay when the board is here i'm supposed to then say what i'm going to say and it does slow you down it slows i really you down. like that i really like because that because the worst thing that i find can happen with a new communication partner is they stick the board in front of the student right away right away then they sit there the student makes a mistake yep. now we've had a failure yes person gets flustered yes they don't know what to do to fix it they start freezing their anxiety goes up mm -hmm. their anxiety goes up the spell non-speaker's anxiety is going to go up it really pains us to make mistakes because we know what we want to do. You help us by coaching before you put the board in front of us. So again, I always find that it's best to try to be proactive and prevent as many errors as we can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now in the beginning, there's going to be a lot of errors. Mm -hmm. And I would recommend actually, Ginny, that we actually have you sitting in the chair now and making a lot of mistakes. We hope you enjoyed the experience of seeing a parent struggle through a first lesson on three stencils. That parent is my mother, an accomplished communication partner, so remember this is not easy. As you start your first lesson remember to do all green spell words and questions, and purple number questions. Here is a coaching summary. Don't rush. Use hand gesture and verbal coaching. Know how to spell the words. Use left and right, up and down. Hold the middle of the board at the table level in front of dominant hand. Bring board down after coaching. And don't move the board. You will have errors in the beginning but keep working at it for short sessions each day. For your typing exercise, choose an age-appropriate lesson from the C4A website. The communication partner should find a quiet room with a table and two chairs, read through the lesson ahead of time, gather the three stencils, pencil, and pad, and then ask your non-speaker to join you for some fun. When you do the lesson, start with short, five-minute, sessions, if necessary, then increase the length. Do the lesson over as many days as you need, with as many breaks as you need. Take your time. You are just beginning, and we are here to help you. Here it is. Your moment of zen.
being able to talk opened up my life to real possibilities. Yep, I am T E R R I all the way F I E I am terrified T A A I am terrified that N O O N E I'm terrified that no one, Q, R, okay, no one, what's the next word, letter? I'm terrified that no one, okay, W, W, I, L, will, E, and, all the way, V, N, E, N, will ever, okay, which one do you want there? K, K, N, O, all the way, W, M, E. Okay, all the way to the right. Good. Look, I don't think that's going to happen now. No. Because you're just, you can't talk now. You're getting better all the time.